What's up guys, welcome back to Games and You. This is the start of our new Star Fox Guard playthrough. Previously, I completed Star Fox Zero, and those episodes should be up by now. If not, uh, stay tuned. And now, we're going to be starting off Star Fox Guard. So this game came along, it came free alongside Star Fox Zero. And you can also buy it digitally on, um, on the eShop. I don't know how much it costs, so it's probably like, for, uh, 20 Twenty dollars? Thirty? Ooh. It's got a lot of catchy music. And we have the conserving energy uh, update status thing. Heads up from Nintendo again. So let's give this a try. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this game, actually. It's also gotten a better reviews than Zero, surprisingly. So... Let's see what it has to offer. Now loading. Creating save data, okay. Employment contract. I, Grippy Toad, head honcho of Corneria Precious Metals LTD, hereby officially employ you to serve as my defense specialist and work your tail off protecting my precious metal mining bases. Okay. Peter Tot. Oh yeah, my name's Peter Tot in this. It's it's normally just Teo. It's just this like inside joke thing. Anywho, I got twenty thousand Corneria money. Sweet. Central Tower. Sick. Cornerian mining base A. Oh god. Alright. Oh, this is catchy. Can I shoot it? Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so at the bottom it shows all the cameras and where they're angled, and then you just tap the camera to um, select which one you want to use. Let's see, there's one at camera too. Everything else looks pretty clear. Oh wait. Sneaky little bastard. Okay, there's one at eight. Ooh, this is kinda this is kinda cool. Keep spawning. Yeah. Wait, did they already get there? Did they already get there? Oh dang. This is Starbox. Responding to your distress signal. Thanks, Fox. Would shooting a mining base really be that safe? Mission accomplished. Returning to Great Box. Uh, hey, I'm gonna Looks like the little buddy. This is an attack unit, the most common combat class model. It's programmed to head to the tower and attack as soon as it gets there. 
Don't do it. Just waving. So Alright. Oh my god, the one on the right looks creepy. Alright, so I guess I gotta fill up the meter then. Okay, vertical can't. Oh! Star Fox Guard. So that's sick. Okay, well, uh, there's the main game. World Rivals, Profile Notifications, so my rank is 1 right now, what's this plus mean? Or are these just like some tips or something? You can review information, that'll be available to play everyone. Alright, hang on, let me read this. Here you can read the info that will be available to play others if you play online. Select symbols to change your symbol to see an overview of what you've achieved so far. Check the heat index on your identification card to see how popular your squads are. Select p play record to check out your records and those of your squads. Alright, cool. You can unlock new symbols by achieving certain goals when you play. Okay, so this is like achievements then. More goals become available as you progress through the game, so be sure to review them from time to time. Whichever symbol you're currently using will appear on all your bots in my squad. Okay. As you complete goals, be sure to check out your symbols. You might just find a new favorite. Defeat a rival squad. Launch a successful, launch a successful my squad attack. Defeat an untested squad. Clear an extra mission. Defeat a squad found via ID search. Watching a My Squad replay in which another player battles one of your squads. Defeat a friend or family member squad. Okay. I'll just take that one. Alright, let's try it. Let's try the main game. Once the evil scientist Andros invaded the Lilat system, the Age of Peace came to an end. Yet, against this backdrop of war, 
business is booming for one small up-and-coming mining company. Corneria Precious Metals LTD. Founded by one grippy toe, the company mines precious metals. It supplies the high demand for weapon and robot materials and makes a lot of money doing it. But lately, a worrying number of robots have begun infiltrating the company's mining locations. Long story short, that's what these here cameras are for. Keeping out rustlers. <laughs> and here's the best part. You can control them all remotely right from your seat in our Corneria HQ. A wonder of technology, as little Slippy would say. Sharp as a tack, that one. I'll let you get to it. Give them bots a whooping. Slippy here. You sure had a hard time back there, huh? The bots want to take over our base, so they'll try to attack the tower. And coming. Here they come. Use the Aegis Cam system to fend them off. Enemy force analyzed. Sending details to your screen now. All right. To select an Aegis Cam, simply tap its icon on the Wii U gamepad. Okay. I'm good to go. It's gonna be exciting. So I gotta defeat five of those, like, dark blue ATK robots. Oh. Oh no, it's too low. Trying to sneak in. Oh, I see you there. Oh god. <laughs> Looked like it was like rushing in there, like it was all worried. Nice. That's pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really have any expectations for this game, but it's pretty fun. Ah. Oh. So I got 12 medals? Oh, 15, okay. Nice. <laughs> Did a little flip. Three. Just like... Threw up three gold bricks. Gold bars. Alright. So after you complete a... Um, a defense, you can press Y to actually watch the replay, or just A to continue, that's pretty cool. Robot types. Combat class bots tried to attack your tower. Destroy them all to finish the mission. Chaos class bots assist attacking bots by messing with your defenses. Bots you can- bots you defeat that you can use in my squad will appear in the robot encyclopedia- oh, so that's when you press the plus button. Okay. Let's try one more of these. Mechanical invaders. Defeat every combat class bot. All right.
Oh, I see you. So far, so good. Let's see. Oh, geez. Finally started to pick up there at the end. Defense successful, let's go. I wonder if we can make this guy go faster. I mean, I don't mind waiting, having him like uh, go around the course like this, but I feel like people would start to feel like impatient or something like that. All right, 14, so far so good. Hopefully I should get at least over 20. Okay, there's a good chance of that. If I could get just at least three more. I see one in the corner over there lurking. 20, okay, 26, not bad. Perfect guard, so that should be, oh, 46 total. Ah, oh, ranked up, sweet. That's awesome. Defeated enemy robots drop valuable precious metals. At the end of each mission, your buddy Rebot gathers them all up. Collect lots of precious metals to increase your rank and unlock lots of cool stuff. Access the rank tracker to confirm your rank and review upcoming unblockables. Alright. Sweet. Ooh, alright, so I guess these are just the basics, and then, um, the extra missions unlock at whatever rank that is. That's pretty cool. Rank 2. Oh, how many ranks are there? What? You can go up to 50, alright, cool. So I'll be trying more of this game uh, in the next episode. So far, so good. Uh, I really like this concept of Star Fox Guard. It's been a lot of fun. And yeah, if you like what you saw, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more Star Fox Guard episodes and more episodes of future games in the, in the future. Thank you so much for watching, guys.